hey guys and welcome back to my channel in this video we're going to continue making our game and um the first thing i want to do is so i figured out the problem with our um with one of our sprites missing um i forgot to duplicate our bat and i just got like a new costume and changed everything so this time we're actually going to duplicate it and since we already changed the code, let's change this to a bat, like an actual bat. Actually, no, let's just work on this one. And we're going to leave that one the same. So, um, things we should add to it are a bit complicating, I guess. So, let's go on and see. Uh, we need a bat, like we need all those bats and stuff. Let's go to the fantasy. Bat A, then um, we're also going to need a bat B, a bat C, then a bat B. Then, and a bat D. Uh, hello? Okay, here, bat D. These two are gonna be, so A, B, C, D. Let's get rid of our dragon. Now we have to work on our code because I changed it up. And, uh, we don't need our weight block over here. We're just gonna get rid of it. Everything here is... Um... We should get rid of point towards which and then move 15 degrees that way because our um, thing doesn't have it. So here, let's just say goodbye to these two. Um, next thing I want to do is, so um, when I start as a clone forever, next costume, wait, 0 0.1 second, we have to return that one, because we deleted it, so here, um, when I start as a clone, forever, next costume, wait, 0 0.1 seconds, uh, where is our forever loop, okay, forever, the next costume, it's gonna be over here. Wait, 0 0.1 seconds. 0 0.1. Okay, we are done with redoing our, like, our thing that I messed up. And now, uh, let's test it out and see it should work this time. Okay, one of the bat comes. Have to delete it. Then let's wait for the other things. So here's our dragon. I got rid of it. Here's another bat. I'm waiting for the frog. Is the frog ever gonna appear? Okay, here's our frog. It's so big. Let's see what happens if one of them um, attacks me or something. Yeah, the same thing happens. Okay, so now we're going to add another enemy. And this one's going to be a ghost. So let's go to the fantasy thing. Well, let's see actually what else we have because we have a lot of cool stuff over here. Well, now nah, let's just... Yeah, let's get the ghost. Because it looks creepy. So, um... You know what? Let's just make a copy of our bat. So let's duplicate it. And then go over here and... Um... We're gonna choose a costume. Let's get our... Um, ghosty ghost thing. What else we- So we- Here's our ghost. 
And what else we have? So our ghost is... We're just going to get ghost A. Because we don't need all those animations for the ghost. Okay. Um, let's go to the code. Get rid of this one. Because we don't need it. It's sad. It's really sad. Okay, let's see what else we can add to this one. Repeat until touching which. Move one step. If touching fireball, then play sound screech. You know, I'm just gonna put the owl one. It's fine. And, and, and. Repeat a hundred times. Change the ghost effect by one. So, in between, play sound owl until done, and then um, change score by one. We're gonna place, repeat a hundred times. Change the ghost effect by one. Repeat. Okay, we're gonna place this over here. Oh gosh, no. <laughs> Repeat a hundred times. Uh, change ghost effect by one. Let's see. There we go. This is nice. Uh, now we're gonna add a wait 10 seconds block over here. So hide, then wait 10 seconds. Five to seven over here. Then, okay, there we go. Now I think we can see like we can test it out and see how this works. You know, we have to wait for them. A bat, it's like the first thing that's gonna come. Here's our ghost, finally. See, it's so cool, it fades away so nicely. Oh no, oh no, oh no, uh, yay. Oh gosh, oh gosh, this is actually really fun. Now let's see what would happen if it touches it. Yep, the game just ends. Okay, that's really nice. Uh, now we're gonna go on to our, um, to one of our things, which is gonna end our game. It's really sad that our game's gonna end, cause... I like our game. I really like it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to paint the sprite. Everything is going to be black. So we're going to fill it with blackness. Like over here, it's, it's, it's black, like completely black. And then we're going to put a giant red text that says game over. And we're also going to put in very very weird um, font like a font that's gonna be creepy <laughs> let's do this one yay I love it actually <laughs> we will place it somewhere here in the middle I really like it. It's, yeah, it's actually really nice. Um, so here we're gonna add this, go to it. When flag is clicked, of course it's gonna hide. So hide, go to X zero, Y zero. X zero, Y zero. When I receive, then another one, when I receive game over, wait one second, and then show. Uh, where 
is it? Okay, when I receive game over, wait one second. And it's going to show. Okay, so there we are. This is the end of our game. But if you want to, you could add a thing that says like an extra life. This is like a little challenge for you guys. So it's going to fly around and if you hit it, then you're going to get a life. But that's optional if you really want to. Uh, I can just tell you how it is. You're going to duplicate it. You're going to change some stuff. And then at the end, you're going to say change lives by one. And if it is a challenge, you can do it. Tell me in the comments down below if you did it. So now let's just finally test our game. Okay, this game is not that hard, but it is not that easy, so now I'm just gonna wait until I have zero lives and see if it works like the right way with the game over thing. One life. Game over. Okay, it works perfectly as I expected it to work. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was the end. This was my favorite game. I really enjoyed making it and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. So, see you in my next video. Bye!